hi welcome again in this video i'm trying to show you some of the diagnostic tips uh, related to runtime virtual texturing we know rvt is quite powerful you can do interesting blends like this uh, depending on the surface but actually when you're trying to do it yourself things are not working as expected and i made mistakes and i still do mistakes and this video i'm trying to show you some of the common mistakes and also try to explain why things are happening right let's get into that okay first thing so make sure you have enabled virtual texturing in your projects you can easily do that by going to the edit project settings and search for virtual textures so just make sure you click this checkbox and then you had to restart the project since you are moving back with different projects it's quite possible to mistake this checkbox and then if you don't click that a virtual texture doesn't work materials are set up in a very interesting way they can dynamically check for the virtual checking support and enable it uh, based on that so then uh, you won't see any error message if you disable virtual textures you simply won't see any result okay uh, the other thing is sometimes you will get a result like this or maybe something you get a dark uh, color in these uh, blended areas and that's uh, because of quite few reasons and i'm gonna show you that in the next couple of sections so this is a common mistake and this is happened for everyone and you can easily check whether this is uh, based on some problem or not by going to the your rvt location texture location in open land we store that in the open land core rvt directory and here we use two RVTs, uh, one for the height, one for the material. This is quite common setup. You will use the two RVTs. If everything's are working, you will see uh, um, the preview of the texture here in the, in the both these textures. In this case, we don't see anything. They are just black. So then that means we are doing something wrong. The reason could be a couple of things and I'm going to explore that in the next sections. In order to use RVT, you need to have a surface material. Usually it's a landscape material. Inside that material, you need to have a node like this, runtime virtual text output. If you don't have this, it doesn't work. So make sure you're using the correct material and also check whether this uh, node is working correctly. Then the other thing is you need to add RVTs to the, the actual actor itself. So in, in your level. So here we use the output node. It's just the output node it doesn't know which texture we are writing to that that we need to tell inside the level so you need to click your landscape just click that and go to the details panel and search for virtual textures and then you need to enable both these virtual textures one for the height one for the material sometimes you don't use the height but if you're using just make sure you add those two in, in into this place and and there is no order so you can add any any order you like other thing is the volumes so so adding the uh, virtual textures to the landscape is not enough you need to have a volume to show you this is the area that we are tracking so usually we do that with the virtual texture volume basically you will add a two virtual text volume one for each rvt then check those texture volumes and make sure you have the virtual texture added and also check the bounds so you can check the bounds here and you, usually you should uh, select the landscape or the act, actual actor and then you can click this head bounds and it will create a, the bounding box like this. You can see this, the yellow box to covering whole my area and make sure you have, add, have that and also double check that uh, you need to do that for both these virtual textures. So after you have done all these things and you will definitely see a RVT preview like this in your RVT textures. So if that's correct, basically it should work as expected like this. So the other one is you need to sample these virtual textures and blend. In our case, we use this rock and inside this rock material, we try to sample that. So let's try to see whether we are doing that or not. In this case, this is coming from Megascan and this is the, the material. Inside this material, we use this OpenLAN RVT this function. In OpenLAN, we abstract this functionality. But if your case, maybe you are directly using the sample node. So just make sure you are using that correctly. Go to the place that you do that. Most of the time, you need to use a two sample nodes, one for the height, you can see here, and then you will see a preview here. 
then you can click that and then you need to add the virtual texture make sure you are adding the correct virtual texture here right now you can see there's a sharp edge between this my ground texture and also my actual blender texture and and this is quite concerning because the, the quality wise you can see two different things actually this is a result of the compression in the runtime virtual textures and there's no way to like change the compression and uh, you will see a result like this because this actual texture looks like this with some details and but then uh, when you're sampling that so it looks like this and it's it's quite bad and this doesn't happen for all the older textures or for something like sand and that's quite okay but if you have more details in the texture this will happen and there is no way to fix that uh, that i'm aware of but then you need to play around with textures and some blend parameters to hide this and still get a nice blend so in open land so we have something called rvt cache all right then i can enable that by clicking this checkbox all right now you can see the actual sample texture now we can see a very nice blend between my rock and the the ground because the uh, it's using the cache version or the actual uh, rvt uh, but the quality wise is not the correct result so then that's why the difference for this is our actual texture you can see in the ground and this is the sampled one so there's a clear difference between the, those two then when you're blending you can easily see that all right the other problem is blending with normals usually we uh, blend our rpts with normal information so then we can have a nice result so let me show you what i mean by that so here in this rock we can see we blended nicely and i can uh, turn up the rpt and you can see this is the default and this is after we blend that so this is too much but you can see it's blending nicely and then if i go to this um, the pillar and then uh, let me try to turn up rvt so it, it uses similar settings and then you can see we have a subtle change but there is no much difference so here you can see we have a very slope angle and with rvts we actually uh, sample the ground or the flat surface and you cannot map that information to a slope surface like this so then basically we don't do anything in this case and that's why you don't see any blend here or very limited uh, amount of blend but in a place like this we have a lot of angles and then we can clearly have a nice blend so make sure when you are trying to blend some uh, prop like maybe it's a rock or something make sure it has some angles especially towards the bottom of the rock or the prop so then uh, we can uh, do very interesting uh, blends otherwise it's really hard to do so other thing is the mobile support uh, mobile support for rvt is quite new sometimes it doesn't work as expected first of all you need to go to the edit project settings and search for virtual textures or maybe mobile as well and then you need to enable this one uh, in this project we haven't enabled that you need to click that if you're trying to use that in the mobile device and also you need to reduce the rvt size as well in here we use the maximum of resolution for the rvt but uh, you need to reduce that something workable in your mobile device um, so otherwise it won't work and usually there is no warning or error message then you need to tweak with these uh, parameters and try to uh, get something uh, you can work with all right these are the things that i see as common mistakes and i, I know there could be some others as well if you have encountered such things let me know in the comments so then i'm happy to discuss all right uh, this is it and i hope you get something from this video see you soon with something interesting bye